Make you know Ninja songs, old school or new school. Stand a chance to win big on Gusto Gesto song. To be a part of this, call the numbers on your screen right now. Come on board and let's do things the Gusto way. Hello guys, welcome to Gusto Reactions. Once again, thank you so much for all this liking and sharing. Subscribe me, tell your friends about what we do right at Gusto TV. We love you, we appreciate you, and accept my body and everything. Big Lala is very much in the building today. Of course, we've got a very, very big artist up here to discuss today. I love her so much. Oh, I really, really, yeah. really, really, really do love her so much. And, uh, you know, a lot of fans as well. Now, Lala, a very big question for you. Hmm. Asha is an amazing artist. But in 2021, hmm. what would you say has been working or is working for Asha? The music or the pedigree? Of course, it's the pedigree. There's, I remember the last time you had an Asha music. Hmm. I think it's a catalog and the pedigree that that she was able to get from her catalog is what works for her anytime, hmm. any day. Mm -hmm. You expect she gets for just everyone knows that Asha is always. I mean, she's always anything you talk about when it, when you talk about quality of music. Mm -hmm. Asha is um, is up there, right top there, tier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So and she's not like it's not like she's she's not successful at it. She is mm -hmm. successful at it, mm -hmm. whether you want to do it lo locally or even internationally. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, talking success, you know, a couple of albums, you know, uh, to her name we know there's the Asha, you know, there's Bed of Stone, there's Beautiful Imperfection, there's also the Lucid album. Four major, you know, project from Asha, mm. and uh, you know, do you think this has actually, you know, is enough to position her, you know, as that artist that people actually will say, oh my, you know what, leave her for her own lane, leave her for her own lane, leave her like the yeah, well respected, just you know, leave her for her own lane or something. Well, I think the thing with Asha is she hasn't done it. Uh, has she done enough? I think she's done enough, but she didn't. She didn't go for quantity. Mm. She went for quality. Okay. You know the same way we praise people for their consistency over the years, mm. and they, they deliver a lot of albums. Olamide, yeah. But you what you find out is in those kind of instances, some uh, of those albums were very very subpar, were not were not it at all. Mm. So in terms of Asha going, for, I think she went for quality. So every time she dropped an album or any sort of project it, it was based off being a quality piece of work mm. and not just to fill up the numbers like, oh i haven't dropped an album in a while i might as well drop it mm -hmm. i don't think she's that kind of artist okay so um 2021 i've seen her you know actually roll with a couple of you know producers as pre prime at as a point we saw we we're hearing something about whiskey and asha you know uh linking up together actually mm. they linked up together because this you know is pre prime asha in the studio asha of course and the cavemen doing the thing you know the live from home mm. uh, thing as well we saw this one as well mm -hmm. there was files there was world as well mm, asha has been quite you know um she's been up to a lot of things you know before now and mm -hmm. even recently mm -hmm. but no substance no substance like, yes no there's no music no music from her. Well, this should we be worried? No, this is how Asha has always been. Asha is not your kind of person to just drop. She doesn't follow the traditional Nigerian way of. But it's been a long music. time, and it doesn't matter. But even if it's it's been a long time, yes. Watch if Asha is going to drop an album tomorrow, you see the amount of reaction she's going to get and be like, "Oh, Asha is dropping an album." That's the eagerness to go and listen to an Asha album mm. will always be there from Nigerian listeners, always. Will always be there. Is it a case of is this a case of complacency for me? Knowing fully well that oh, I've got my fans, no wahala at all, and everything. Any day, any time, you guys will always be there for me. No, I don't think it's about uh, complacency, like mm. you put it. As we all know, <laughs> Asha came up from the I mean the Nigerian scene. Mm. I think the Asha album was was pretty dope, won awards and everything. Let's not forget that she now relocated mm. to France mm. and started doing her thing over there. And she was getting uh, a due accolades, even mm. then, not like she didn't get a due accolades yet. She was taking her time after that Asha album, she mm. released another album, <clears throat> right? Yeah, she also took her time again to release the, the next one, yeah. And then she took her 
time to release yeah. the next. She's yeah. not the kind of artist that rushes into making an album and just releasing it. She's mm-hmm. not. She's proven over time that she takes her time. So this is again, Asha taking her time. At least you are seeing her that she's recording music. So mm-hmm. you know that she's still a musician. Have you? Yeah. yeah. So it's just a process. Mm-hmm. And she doesn't make people, she doesn't let people decide a process. You mm-hmm. may have a point when you say things like, oh, is four albums enough for mm. someone of Asha's pedigree? Mm-hmm. Yes, of course, you may have a point, but then that's her process. That's how she goes about her business. Anyways, in terms of going you know, about business, Coco Bar, you know, announced, uh, you know, Asha UK tour. Mm. And um, this shows that she still very much has all the relevance. This will happen in October, you know, throughout October and everything yeah. for Asha in the UK. And fans are asking that she goes to many other cities and all of that. Um, these are the part of you know like kind of things that will still get people you know saying a lot of things do you think this kind of tour should be happening at this time or she needs to release an album before she goes on this kind of tour because of the kind of person she is a tour can happen anytime she can do a show anytime she has that core fan base don't forget that when how many years ago was this asha's live in concert in nigeria hmm. when was the last time asha had a concert in nigeria but when she was having that concert was it not sold out, sold out. <laughs> it was it was completely clear and she didn't just pull all the ordinary. She pulled people in high places. They went there to listen to classical music for Masha. Mm. So that's the kind of person she is. And uh, uh, what's it called? Her fan base or her audience is not predominantly Nigerian audience. Yeah, it's yeah, not at all. Yeah, yeah. She, she was based in France for a long time. She's married to is it a French guy? Yeah. Right? I'm not sure where, mm. where the guy is from. She has a solid fan base there. So mm. people naturally know who Asha is, mm-hmm. and she doesn't need. To be in our faces every time mm. for for you to even respect or know that oh there's an Asha somewhere. But what's with all the cavemen world P Prime and everything collaboration? Yeah. Uh, is Asha you know said to do an Afro pop album? Nah, the cavemen don't be Afro pop now. Nah. I like mm. she mm. can decide to meet uh, her. She can yeah of course she can decide to um off was it off bed or something beautiful profession. Yeah. This the kind of song that she did was like American classical baby baby you mm. Abby. Was it mm. that? No, it wasn't that one. That's a, yeah, I yeah, really, yeah, yeah, you see how kind of, that kind of thing. She knows how to do it, that kind of thing. So it doesn't necessarily have to be the slow type of music for Asha. Mm. She can mix it up as well. Okay. Anyways, guys, let's have your thoughts on that. What exactly is Asha up to? A lot of recording, a lot of you know, um, out of home or from home. You know, um, you know, concerts, virtual concerts, and everything. The latest one with Cavemen. Mm. See now with P Prime, see now with Files, with Ward, Whiskey at some point. Let's have your thoughts on what exactly you think Asha is up to. We love Asha, and of course, we can't wait for another Asha album. And of course, in the other Asha concert in Lagos. Yes, we'll see you guys on the next reaction. Stay safe and God bless.